Hey guys, what's happening? This is Vape and Juice TV and it's coming to the end of the lockdown now, but I thought I've got time for one more review of a vape kit. Do not sleep on this little baby. This is the Breeze NXT kit. Right, I know what you're thinking. Why are you doing a review for the Breeze NXT kit? So basic. I needed a vape kit the other day and I was in the office. Excuse the attire. No, sir, I'm trying to be an astronaut. Um, I was in the office and I didn't have a vape kit working. Battery was flat and I, I'd walk there and you know, you know how it is. And so I looked rummage around some of the stuff that we'd had for like, photography and stuff for the website. I thought, well, this isn't going to cost the world if I use it and take it out of the box. And it's amazing! Right, this is really good. And I'm going to tell you why. It's super simple, right? So if you've had things like the Smok kit, you've seen we've done reviews on those. I'm a big fan of the Smok Nord kit. It's a very, very simple way to have a better vape than a Jewel or a Logic kit or anything like that for probably about the same money and you can refill them. So they're really cool. But one of the problems with the, the Nord kit is they have a tendency to leak. And that's about it really. Um, but they're not bad, they're not bad. The, uh, oh, also doesn't have the anti-fire protection. I don't think this has either, but I haven't even found it. For, hang on, just, just trying. No, it has an anti -fire. It doesn't have anti-fire protection either. Whatever. Um, so the Nord kit can tend to leak. The Nord 2 kit is a bit better. It comes down to um, the stopper cap. The stopper cap on the Nord kit is a lot smaller. I've also used the um, the Vupu Mod Pod Vod Mod Sod kit. Uh, that was actually my first Mod Pod <laughs> cod. Uh, I liked it, but it didn't have a great deal of flavour. One of the problems with those particular Mod Pod kits are the flavour isn't hugely strong. So I moved on to a Smok Nord 2 kit, bought it, absolutely hammered. Actually, I was in LA and I got drunk and I come home and I was laying in bed, whiling away the day, feeling sorry for myself and I was thinking, oh, I bought a jewel kit last night. Me, buying a jewel kit, don't do that. Um, and I was like, oh, I haven't got a vape, can't find my vape. Uh, we were jet lagged. Anyway, about 11 o'clock that night, I looked over and saw the box and it was a Smok Nord 2 kit and they hadn't come out yet in the UK and I spent the entire day hankering for a vape and I had an amazing kit and the Smok Nord 2 kit is a decent bit of kit for not a lot of money, adjustable power, a big range of coils, but this isn't about the Smok Nord 2 kit, this is about the Breeze NXT and why you shouldn't sleep on it. Now, if you want to spend a little bit less money, you want a little bit less tech, you don't want to play around with ups and downs and variable voltage and variable wattage and all that malarkey and you want a simple kit that's sturdy feeling feels nice doesn't feel like low quality doesn't leak and has adjustable airflow you charges off a normal usb micro usb charger and you like things like you've heard about aspire you've heard they're a good brand now this is the one now, a couple of years ago aspire brought out the breeze one and the breeze two kits they were all right. They were actually very innovative for their time. I remember when I first saw an Aspire Breeze kit, I was thinking, wow, this is really good. You could even get away with putting some thicker liquids in it. So that was amazing. But then new stuff comes out and you've got the Fetch, the Alike. Alike, I've just made up a name for a kit. I don't know how it's said. The Moulos, which is by Aspire. Um, the Nord kits, the RPMs. There's a shed load of them out there. And they are a step up. Like the Rattel where you've got rebuildable. But going back to the very, very entry level, pod kits that are nice to feel, nice to hold, and can use a good range of liquids, doesn't leak, the coils last well, spire coils do last well, then they kind of got a little bit left behind. I'm, wa I'm waffling a little bit. They got a little bit left behind. Then I found this in the office. This has been out for about six, seven, eight, nine, ten months. It's not had a lot of promotion because everyone talks about the Nord and the RPM and, and the other such like this out there. But I picked it up and I thought, I've got to do a review for the Aspire NXT Breeze. I'm going to give it some props. Do not sleep on this. <sighs> Sorry, hi, I'm doing a review here about the Aspire NXT Breeze kit. No, seriously, do not sleep on this kit. I'll tell you why, very simple. So up close, you've got adjustable airflow. What does that mean? Well, that means if you're new to vaping, what does it mean? It means you can have a tighter, like, oh, this is a lovely cigarette, mate. Or you can have a wider inhale, which means you can use slightly thicker liquids and you can get a bigger cloud if you really fancy that. If you want big clouds, to be brutally honest, pod kits are not really the way for it. But you're still going to get a bigger cloud than a cigarette and you're going to smell less bad too. Anyway, back to this. So it's got adjustable airflow. The Nord one does not have that. A lot of the pod kits don't have adjustable airflow, so that's really helpful. Um, next up, the pod. The pod refills. Um, just from the side port here. I'll come up close and see here, there's a little rubber grommet. 
how you refill it. You ping it open like so, and you pop your liquid needle in there and you fill it up. Now this is the same size capacity as every entry level tank pod in the UK. They come two mil as standard. You can get bigger pods out there, I'm sure, but off the shelf, it's two mil. What makes, it's such a small feature as well, I'm gonna talk about this. What makes this little rubber stopper better than say the Nord kit? And why do you care about a rubber stopper? What makes it better is the fact that it's ribbed. Ribbed for your vape kit's pleasure. Um, it's got what I like to call the quad rib system, which is uh, four rubber ribs, uh, which means it clicks in place a bit better. So I'm knocking the camera. And um, because it's bigger, I'm just I'm pouring juice out everywhere now. Because it's a bit bigger and it's just a bit more solid rubber. It's vulcanized rubber, John. Um, because it's it's more sturdy, it doesn't tear. Now I had the Voodoo Mod Pod. I mentioned that a short while ago. The downside for that. And if you've ever had one, it's the rubber stopper tears. So the pod could be fine, the coil could be fine, but if the rubber stopper tears, you're buggered. You can't use it. You, it pulls out, leaks, you, just a mess. You just have to get a new one. That's awfully wasteful. This solves that problem by actually making sure it's just a decent rubber stopper, really. So I like that. It seems so small, but I've used a lot of these kits and that does become a bowl ache. If you're spending money on new pods and new coils simply because the pod stopper tears, then that's bad for customers. You know what we're about? We help you vape. So the rubber stopper is good. Um, it's not small and too fiddly, so it's actually a bit better if you're all kind of ergonomically challenged. Uh, how do you change the coil? Very simple. You see this little metal circle? It's not a circle, is it? It's kind of like a, it's like someone's had a go at a circle with a pair of scissors, metal shears. You put your put your little nails in here, your little nails, put your little nails in here, and you just pull it out like so. Now I stupidly have filled this up prior to doing this video. I just thought I'd better do this before I run out and it starts raining. Um, but yeah, you just pull that out, throw it in the bin, recycle it, you know, you know what we're about, and then you get a new one out of the box. Here. There you go, just like that. So that's how I did it. Uh, so there you go. That is how you change the coil on an NXT Breeze. That is how you fill the NXT Breeze. There's my cat opening cupboards. Uh, this is the beauty of doing video reviews from home. <laughs> so professional. And uh, you won't see anyone from uh, from BOT reviewing their cigarettes and kitchen. Um, I don't know why they're northern. But anywho, this is the NXT Breeze. Don't sleep on it. I like it. It makes vaping very simple to do doesn't leak the rubber cap doesn't tear i'm not going to keep this too long the drawer's a bit wider so you can get a bit of a cloud going from a from a kit like this and you can use some thicker liquids now these ones come as a 0.8 ohm coil so that's technically a sub ohm coil sub ohm coils can work with higher vg liquids so you can use some of the bigger bottle liquids is it perfect for them no you're not going to get as much power you can use them if you're caught short. Personally, these are better for MTL liquids, mouth to lung liquids, the kind of starter liquids or the higher PG propylene glycol. If you want to find out more about what PG means, we've got a video on the difference between PG and VG, which we'll have a, up on the box at the end of the video. If you want to find out more about MTL liquids, I'm going to stick a link in the description box below that's going to show you uh, a guide really on beginner's guide to e-liquid, how to pick the right e-liquid, some of the best e-liquids. And uh, that's in a nutshell. Don't sleep on this. This is a really decent pod kit for under 30 quid. It's a replacement for the Breeze 1, Breeze 2. Don't judge it on how you think the Breeze 1 and Breeze 2 is now. Breeze 1 and Breeze 2 were actually pretty innovative for their time. This is not going to set the world alight. It's not got more functionality than a, an RPM 40. It's not got more functionality than a Nord 2. But if you want a simple pod kit that does the job, that doesn't leak all over your hands, that's easy enough to change the coil, the rubber stopper doesn't break, the coils last longer than some of the other coils, this is your, this is your bad one. Um, finally, nice little uh, friction-induced grip hitch on the side for taking the pod off like that. Refill, refill, change. Doesn't make the sound like I made the sound. Change the coil, refill the coil, close it in, charge it up with a micro USB, it takes an hour and a half, two hours. Adjust the airflow with here. Happy vaping. See, not massive cloud, but 
a really punchy little device for not a lot of money. There you go, NXT Breeze Kit from Aspire. Check it out. We can put a description where you can get it in the link below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And if you like my energy, uh, or if you think I should become an astronaut or have other job opportunities for me that I should possibly be looking at, uh, I just want to be a lollipop lady. Put them in the comments below. Ta-ta, Vape and Juice TV.